Hello there. So the business fraternity is getting worried about this rotten, Brexit in name only deal put forward by Theresa May. Or was it Ollie Robbins? I earlier said that maybe the only people rooting for Theresa May's Brexit in name only deal might be within the big corporate business world. But it turns out they are not enamoured with it either. According to leaked internal emails from the Confederation of British Industry, the CBI, that ITN managed to get hold of, they have doubts over this deal too. After earlier welcoming the prospect of a deal being hammered out to bring them the stability that business needs, it now transpires that the CBI might be getting cold feet over this particular deal as well. The CBI's head of Brexit negotiations, Nicole Sykes, said in one email, No need to give credit to negotiators, I think, because it's not a good deal. With the reply from Chris Gummit, the head of news for the CBI, replying, Have left the credit in, given we want this to go through. Maybe it has dawned on them that this 585-page legally binding withdrawal agreement has, via the Irish border backstop provision, the capacity to lock the UK down to such an extent that over time the EU can hollow out what is left of our industrial and manufacturing sectors. All the EU has to do is make rules that favour the EU27 and negotiate deals with other countries in the full knowledge that the UK will not be in a position to argue its corner and will have no power to do anything other than comply. In fact, the EU could engineer deals specifically to make them attractive to other nations by pointing out that the UK will be disadvantaged and will end up footing the bill. And trying to argue that the Irish border backstop is temporary is either missing the point or lying. It is not temporary. The whole point of it is to prevent the UK from being able to flex its own trade muscles unless the EU gives it permission. And I don't see that happening in any scenario except the full demise of the EU itself. As Daniel Hannan, the Eurosceptic Tory MEP, said... I don't think anyone in Brussels sees the backstop as temporary. And he went on to say, It's even worse than that. What it means is, if the EU now contracts a trade agreement with an outside country, say with India or China, Britain would be obliged to match all of the concessions made by the EU. But India or China would only have to reciprocate to the EU27, not to Britain. In other words, our economy, the fifth biggest in the world, the second biggest in the EU, would become a bargaining chip to be used by EU negotiators wholly for the benefit of the continental economies with no notional benefits to us. Now, how on earth have we ended up in a position where we're leaving the EU but proposing to keep that? That's like throwing away the burger and eating the napkin. And the answer to that damn good question is that the whole Remain-based establishment has been working tirelessly against the electorate since the result of the June 23rd 2016 referendum came in, with the outcome that we are on the verge of being exactly where the EU wants us and exactly where the PM intends to place us, if she can get away with it. And that is with the status of a permanent EU colony. But this is not in the interests of the people, nor in the interests of any patriotic politicians that are left, nor of UK-based small businesses and entrepreneurs, and now even big business is looking askance at what's on offer. So the attempt by the PM to go over the heads of MPs to garner support from business and the people to then force those MPs to tow her line already looks set for failure. But will she resign if MPs vote her deal down? Well, speaking today on BBC Radio 5 Live, when asked if she would stake the keys to number 10 on her deal, she ducked the question, saying, I'm not thinking about me. I'm thinking about getting a deal through that is good for the country. My focus is on getting this deal through. She also tried to push the idea that politicians were too focused on who is or is not going to vote for her deal. Whereas, she said, the people were thinking, actually... 
let's make sure we can get this through and get on with delivering. Now that's what I call delusional thinking. How can she possibly think that the people of the UK would want our politicians to sign up to this shoddy, fake Brexit deal that sells the UK into permanent vassalage? The MPs know this and that's why this deal should and will fall in the Commons and Theresa May should fall with it. Repeat after me. Chuck Checkers, toss Theresa and welcome WTO. So, please let us all know what you think by leaving a comment below and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel and when subscribing Please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching.